Hello, and welcome back to Sea of Thieves. In today's tutorial slash walkthrough, I will be showing you how to complete the Cursed Sales campaign. This Cursed Sales campaign is essentially the same as the Hungering Deep, except the steps are a little bit less apparent as to where you're supposed to go. So I will be showing you all the locations and steps necessary in order to beat this campaign. So, the first thing you want to do is head to Golden Sands. Alright, at Golden Sands, you will want to talk to the shipwright. Once you've opened dialogue with her, she'll talk about Wanda, and this will start off the campaign. So, after you get out of talking to the shipwright, go ahead and head over to the Wanda's shop. Old Wanda's shop is now occupied by New Wanda, spelled differently with an L. It's her twin sister, who now occupies her shop, right there, and then click on this note on the desk. Uh, this is the first of three things that you will need to see in order to complete the first step of the campaign. Alright, so the second thing you need to see is this pendant. And the third thing that you need to see are these footsteps out the door. Follow them all the way to the beach, next to the rowboat, and then look at them. And once you've looked at these footprints, which are very worrying indeed, you can go ahead and run right back on over to the shipwright. Alright, and now that you've gotten back to the shipwright, tell her that you found some clues, and she will tell you that you need to go talk to Salty the Parrot. He can be found on Crescent Isle, as she shows here. And Crescent Isle is thankfully right next to Golden Shores here. Alright. So, what you're going to want to do is park where I did, and walk up to the inside of the cove on the left side, the south side, and talk to Salty standing on this barrel. Alright, so once you've talked to Salty, then go ahead and he will tell you that you need to go to Mermaid's Hideaway in order to start finding your journals. So, Mermaid's Hideaway is here, south of Crescent Isle. Alright, and once you've made it to Mermaid's Hideaway, go ahead and walk right past Mermaid's Lagoon to our right, and find Wanda's Journal. Alright, with Wanda's Journal, it'll start to allude to a shipwreck that is being excavated, and there aren't too many of those in Sea of Thieves, so I figured that the only shipwreck that was prominently featured on a island that I could think of, that appeared to be under some type of excavation or permanent settlement, was the one at Thieves Haven. And sure enough, that is where it turned up, right here on Thieves Haven, south of your location, or at least more, more southeast. And then once you get to the uh, Thieves Haven, to your southeast, go ahead and swim over to the big shipwreck, follow it to the left as such. And once you get over here to the outside ring, you will find another journal. And then in this journal, it will tell you to go to a island that is between two outposts. Uh, the only island I could think of that was a singular island between two close together outposts was Sunken Grove. Alright, and Sunken Grove is here, up to your northeast, and that is where it is. So, what you're going to want to do is once you get here, go ahead and go into the center pit, go into the cave, and go and wander through your cave. Once you get to the very end of it, in the big open area, with everything inside, you will find Wanda's third journal. This will give you more doubloons when you have read this final journal. Alright, so, once you're done reading this journal, it will tell you that you need to go and talk to Salty again on Crescent Isle. And Crescent Isle is all the way across the map, back to the west, right there. Alright, so, you guys know where Salty is? He's just right Let's over watch. here. And once you talk to him this time, he will have some new things to say. Um, now that he's got some new things to say, he will inform you that you need to in fact go to Wander's Refuge in order to find the... Al hidden alchemy lab and this hidden alchemy lab is in fact very hidden as it uh, has five items in it that you need to see to get even more doubloons so 
Wanderer's Refuge is just southeast of your location, right here. And I will show you guys where this hidden lab is. All right, and once you get to Wanderer's Refuge, you're going to want to go into the main cave in the center of the main hill. And in this cave, there's a little hidden crevice between two of the rocks near one of the entrances. Go ahead and go through this crevice and you'll end up in Wanda's secret alchemy lab. In here, there are five items you will need to click on. The first one being this evil pirate code. And once you've clicked on all five of these secret items, you will receive 10 doubloons and be one step closer to finishing the campaign. All right. So the second thing that you need to click on will be this cannon base up here. And after you've clicked on the cannon base, go ahead and walk over to the bed where there is the apron. That is the third thing you need to click on. The fourth thing you need to click on will be a scroll on the wall to your right. And it is right here. All right, once you've ins inspected the scroll, go ahead and head over there to that tool on the anvil. And this will be the last thing that you need to inspect. So right here. All right, now that you've gotten Seeker the Warsmith and your 10 to Bloom reward, go ahead and head back to Golden Sands Outpost and talk to the shipwright. There, you can tell her about what you've been through and the whole story, and she will reward you. So right here, once you've go ahead and push talk to her about Wanda, and she will reward you with the sails for the Shores of Plenty. These sails are essential if you want to get the 20 to bloom uh, achievement for having multiple people in your alliance with these sails in defeating the skeleton ships in the Islands of Plenty. All right, she will also inform you that you will need to be going to Plunder and to Daggertooth in order to pick up your other two sails for your other two areas. So, now that you've completed the cursed sails, you can go ahead and equip your sails of plenty, or you can go ahead and get the other two sails. So, what you're going to want to do next, if you're going to get the other sails, is go right on over to Daggertooth, which is right here to the east of where you are currently. And when you get over there, tell the shipwright about the skeleton ships. And after you finish telling her about that, she will give you the wild sails. And these wild sails you will need to equip when you fight in the wilds. Now head over to Ancient Plunder. And when you get to Plunder Outpost, you will need to tell the ship right there about the skeleton ships, and they will give you the sails for the ancient uh, islands. All right, all and that is the last reward that you will get from this campaign, and you can use these when fighting the Grog crew, and that will also get you another 20 doubloons if there are, is another crew in your alliance flying these sails. Alright, well thank you for watching, and remember to like and subscribe to get back to the basics. To subscribe, please click on the icon in the middle of your screen, and to watch our newest video, click the video on the right, and to watch one of our other playlists on another game, go ahead and click on the left.